What's going on YouTube? This is just a follow-up video of bottling some homemade honey wine. I have a container that has sanitizer in it and hot water. There are corks. The cork will be inserted in this little area right here. Having the corks warm makes it uh, more pliable, easier for it to slide in. Over here in my sink, You'll see I have the wine bottles. I use Star Sand. Again, this is a great sanitizer. Uh, I wash everything very good with hot soapy water, rinse it out, and then I use the sanitizer to sanitize all of my equipment. We're gonna take the airlock off. So what we have here is a racking cane. Uh, you'll see there's a big long piece on this side with a clip, it's a tube, it's attached to this little wand that has a plunger on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this end inside of the jar all the way to the bottom. Now that racking cane is normally intended for larger five gallon bottles. I'm gonna fix the clip, so it kinda holds it in place. So now you'll see I have my one gallon bottle there. It's elevated. Now we'll get the wine bottles. The sanitizer I use is a no rinse sanitizer. So they say don't fear the foam. You'll see the bubbles. The foam suds are completely non-toxic. They're flavorless. Uh, it's just a sanitizer. You do not need to rinse these out with water. It just helps keep the bottles nice and bacteria free and clean. 10 bottles lined up. I'm gonna stick this part in the jar. Now to start the pump, I'm just gonna pull back that little plunger. So now, we just bottle. So here I go. Now you can press down on the wand all the way until the wine goes up to the top and then, see it's almost gonna overflow, but if I pull it out, you'll see the displacement. And I always like to give it right up to about half of the neck. Take the, the tip out just a little bit and then just touch it to the side and let the wine slowly come up about halfway. Okay, so I'm gonna fill the rest of these bottles. I will comment and say this does not taste anything like strawberry wine. So I'm gonna call it honey wine. I tried to use strawberries, but I think it was the yeast, the type of the yeast that I use. I'm gonna try again using a different type of yeast. Okay guys, so you'll see I have a little bit of a sediment on the bottom left, so I'm not gonna bottle that. That left us with eight bottles of homemade honey wine. Okay, and now to use this corker thing, so I'll show you what it, what it does. We take the tool, we take our bottle of wine that needs to be corked. Next we take the cork that's been soaking in the hot water and we place it in this little tool. See, I push it down like that. Next we're gonna put the the corker right on top of the bottle. I'm gonna pull the handles down, see like that. Boom. I'm gonna lift up. And now the bottle of wine is nice and corked. So I'm gonna do this to the next seven. We ended up with 19 bottles, 375 milliliter, half size. I'm just an amateur winemaker. This is the first time ever making wine. See the clarity is pretty good. 
But that's all you guys. I hope to do perhaps a future labeling video, show you how to use adhesive DIY labels. And I really do want to make another batch of wine. So thanks again for tuning in if you watch it this far. <laughs>